In this problem, we have to construct a binary search tree from pre-order traversal. So given a pre-order traversal, we have to construct a binary search tree and return its root node and how this output is printed. So actually, when you do the level order traversal of this uh, tree, you get this output. So first we print eight, then we move to next level where we print five and 10. Then we move to next level where we print one seven and the left children of this node is not there. So we put null and then we printed 12. So this is how uh, this output is printed. So we don't have to do the level order traversal. I have just explained uh, so that you know how this output is uh, given in this uh, code. And now let's quickly discuss what is pre-order traversal, what is binary search tree, what are its properties. Now suppose we have to do the pre-order traversal of this binary tree. So in pre-order traversal, first we visit root node and then we visit left half of a uh, left subtree and then we visit right subtree. So let's print the value of uh, root node. Then uh, the next node is two. So let's print its value. Then uh, the left subtree and the right subtree. So the left one is four. And after that, uh, uh, this node has no right and left children. So we, we already visited four, we already visited two. So the next node is five. Then again, uh, this node has no left and right children. So we, we have visited five, we have already visited two and node one. Now the next node is three. So first we visit the left subtree and in again in left subtree if we take uh, this node so the this uh, now the left uh, subtree and then the right subtree so when we visited all the uh, nodes of left subtree now it's time to visit the right subtree so 3 then uh, the left which is 6 and then uh, the right which is seven so uh, this is the pre-order traversal of this binary tree and now uh, let's see uh, what is bst and what is binary search tree so binary search tree is a binary tree with a special property so in binary search tree left node has value less than root node and right node has value greater than root node and now let's see this uh, left and right children so this left children has value less than the value of the root node and the right children has value greater than the value of root node and all the values in left subtree is lesser than the value of root node and all the values in right subtree is greater than the value of this root node so this is the property of BST and now let's discuss various approaches to solve this problem. So let's discuss our first approach. So given a pre-order traversal and in pre-order traversal we first visit root node then we visit left subtree and then right subtree. So what we can do is so we have to create a binary search tree from this pre-order traversal. So we know the first element of the pre-order traversal represent the root value so what we can do is we can create root we can create a root node by using this value and then uh, we can iterate the pre-order array from the first index and check where we have to place this value whether in in left subtree or in right subtree so we take this value 5 and we compare with the value of root node so uh, the the value 5 is less than uh, this value 8 so we have to make this as left child of this node so we know the property of binary search tree where the left child value is always less than the value of its root node and the right child value is always greater than the value of root node now we move to next value which is 1 we compare with 8 so it is less than 8 we compare with 5 it is less than 5 so let's make it as left child of this node 
then the next value is 7 so it is less than 8 then we compare with 5 it is greater than 5 so let's make the make it make them as right child of this node then the next value is 10 so 10 is greater than 8 so let's make let's put them in right subtree so uh, so this node is the right child of root node and the next value is 12 so 12 is compared with 8 then it is compared with 10 so it is greater than 8 and 10 so 12 is the right child of this node 10 so this is the logic behind this approach so here uh, we are taking the length of this array and if there is no element present in this array so simply return null we can't create binary search tree from empty array then uh, take this uh, value present at 0th index and create a root node then traverse this array from first index till uh, the value present at this index then we call this method and where we pass the reference of root node and the current element so the current element is 5 and we pass the reference of root node so in root node so in this node only one element is there which is 8 then we we check uh, the current element value is less than uh, the root node value if it is and if there is no left child then this will be the left children of this root node you can see this code where we compare the current value uh, with a root node value and if it is less than uh, the current uh, root value so current root node value then we recursively uh, call this method insert with left children so this will be the uh, root node and uh, then uh, the current uh, value so when it is 8 then uh, there is no left children so it is null and the current value is 5 so when it is null we return the new node so we make this as left child of this node then uh, we go back to this uh, next iteration where we pick this one and we pass the reference of root node and current element which is one so we compare it is less than uh, the uh, value of root node then we recursively call then one is compared with this value again it is less than that and then uh, again we pass uh, the left child of this node and it is null so we return new node and we make them as left child one and then the next element is seven so again the same process seven is compared with eight so it is less than eight so we call this method and we pass its left child now it is five so five is compared with seven so it is greater than uh, five so we reach at this statement and we pass its right child and value so its right child is null so we return this new node and seven we put seven here and then similarly with eight and twelve so eight ten is compared with eight and it is greater than eight so we reach at this statement and where we pass its right child and the current element which is ten so now right child is null so we return new node and 10 is the right children of this node similarly with 12 and we make 12 as the right child of this node so uh, this is the logic uh, of this approach let's talk about its time complexity so its time complexity is o n log n so now let's discuss our next approach in which we solve this problem in o n time complexity let's see how we can optimize our previous approach so here we are going to use uh, the property of binary search tree so where we know the left child value is always lesser than uh, the value of uh, root node 
and the right child uh, value is always greater than the value of root node so uh, when we have to choose the root node so it uh, this value can be anything between the uh, if we are taking integer value then it can be any uh, any value between integer uh, mean and integer max so integer mean value is the minimum possible integer value and integer max is the maximum possible integer value then uh, its immediate left uh, left node uh, should be uh, any value which is greater than uh, the integer minimum value but it should be less than this root node value which is 8 so uh, the next uh, when we take the next value uh, we check this condition that it should be uh, greater than the integer mean value but it should be less than its root node value and then when we take this uh, one so now we compare the left child of this node should be uh, greater than the integer mean value but it should be less than this value 5 and when we take this 7 so i mean if 7 uh, is lies 7 should be greater than uh, its mean value and less than this value then it should be its left child but this is not the case so now this value is greater than this 5 but it is less than 8 so it is the right child of this node when we take next value which is 10 so it is less than the integer max value but it is greater than 8 so it is the right child of uh, this root node 8 and when we take uh, this uh, value 12 so it is greater than the integer uh, it is less than the integer max value but it is greater than this uh, node uh, node value which is 10 so it is the right child of uh, this node so using this property we can solve this problem uh, in o and time complexity and you can see its code so in this code what we are doing is if the uh, list is empty if this array is empty simply return null then we are uh, solving this problem using recursion so where we pass uh, this array and the integer minimum and maximum value so initially we take the integer minimum possible uh, value and integer maximum possible value and uh, the initial value of index is zero so we start with zeroth index so now the base condition is if index is greater than equal to uh, this array length then simply return null else we take the value present at this index which is 8 and we compare whether it is lies between this mean and max value yes so we create a new node and we increment the value of index now it points to this index and then uh, in in the left child of this node so when we create this node then we call its left child where we pass this array and mean value mean is this value integer mean value and the max value so when we create a left child it should be it it will be between mean and this uh, root node value so it should be greater than this integer ma minimum value and it should be less than this uh, root node value so then uh, we can create uh, them as its left child and the right uh, right node condition uh, i mean the right ch when we uh, call this uh, method for its right children in that case the minimum value should be uh, this root node value and maximum value is the integer max value and uh, first this method is called until it satisfy this condition that this five is less than uh, this root node value but it is greater than integer mean value so this condition is satisfied in next uh, in next uh, uh, recall again we pick this value and we check with this condition so again uh, it satisfies then we take this value 7 but uh, so this time this condition is not satisfied then we uh, run this 
condition at run this statement i mean we reach at this statement and we create its right child then we uh, move to 10 and then we move to 12 so use so in this way we can optimize our previous approach and now let's talk about its time complexity so its time complexity is o n so in this tutorial i have discussed two approaches to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comments so that the people who are watching this tutorial get the benefit from the approach uh, you mention in the comment section so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video